everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion and Victor play GeoGuessr. I'm Sin Victor. Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion playing GeoGuessr. I am Northern Lion. I with thought Sin I could trip you up by saying the wrong name, but I could not. Nope. nope. Well, it, we we established that on episode one of the Culling. The stage where is. I'm set. you and you're you I. The stage is set in our uh, best of thirty-five. The first person <laughs> to eighteen wins, and I'm at. 16 and you're at 17. That's a joke. We're, we're going to keep going until we yeah. stop. But all right. Three, two, one. <laughs> three, two, one, start. How how very appropriate. Oh, no. We're going to keep going until we stop. Can what? we just like stop right now on this? Yeah, on this I don't, don't want to uh, do this one, but it is what it is. I absolutely hate these starts. But I want to say thank you, everybody, for supporting the series. I really do appreciate it. Um, and again, I'm not going to speak for Anel, but I'm having a lot of fun playing GeoGuessr. Um, I know that people have been asking for the culling, and I'm not going to put either one of us on the spot, but just know that right now we're kind of like having more fun playing GeoGuessr because we don't really have to wait as long in between games. Yeah, and if we have like a shit GeoGuessr run... It's we, funny anyway. Exactly. <laughs> if we have like a bad culling run, then it's like, oh, we died in yeah. two minutes. And... Yeah. What is... Oh, okay. I thought I could have swore the said Russia on this ginormous... <laughs> water tower but uh but yeah it's like just just to to finish looking at the elephant in the room uh the calling i'm sure eventually we'll be back like with relative ease i'm not gonna say when or where but we are we are planning on you know possibly playing again sometime yeah i just wish, right, no, like you guys are so much fun <laughs> i wish i wasn't so bad at it yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty bad but see you get to make up for that by just destroying me and uh, you guys are all the time well as long as it's canadian <laughs> it's a huge help. Well, it's like, to be honest, it's like I was saying to you, like, uh, if, if we end up in America, Canadians can hang in America because we consume so much American media. You guys export yeah. television and movies and, you know, music that we listen to. But mm -hmm. you, you, you don't get any of our news. You know, we know no. what's going on down there. You guys are just, you know, ignoring the attic up here. So if we end up outside <laughs> of a Canadian major city... It's a lot easier for a, a native Canadian to be like, I gotta be somewhere around here. We just assume that, like, we're we're still mystified at how you're able to speak as well as breathe with the uh, top <laughs> wow. half of your forehead coming unhinged from the bottom. You know half. what, it's, it's Mr. Incredible. You know how what? did you how do you do that? That show has set us back decades. <laughs> uh, I love South Park. You know they like they air South Park here, and we watch it, and we're like, hey, it's a funny show. Yeah, but it's like it's all in good fun. If you, if you don't remember, Victor? well, if you if you recall correctly, Canada actually beats the U.S. in the movie. Oh, you know what? No. I actually have not seen the movie since like the what? year. What? Well, I've seen the movie, but it was like in the year two thousand, so I was like thirteen. So I got to I got to go back because I mean, at the time, you know, you're like, Ugh, you know, this song's called Uncle Fucker, but I need to go back so I can actually <laughs> appreciate like the satire now as an adult. Oh, it's great. I hear it holds up. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's it's uh, if you get uh, if you get over like the old school animation that they used to do, it's you know, and they even they even sort of parody it in within the movie itself, but like even back then like that's like early what, like season 3, season 4 of South Park, so it was still yeah. pretty rough. And then like, you know, you got to remember that like Saddam Hussein existed. Yeah. And by the way, this might be the worst GeoGuessr I have card seen of all time. I think I know what country we're in. And then that's apart a, from that, that's it. I saw a sign that I think was like, uh, not even an interstate, but like a county junction. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to comb the fucking map well, looking for junction 23, you know? I mean, it's it's very clear that we are in the U.S. So that's what like, I thought, yeah. As far as where, I have got no clue. This could literally be anywhere and figuratively be anywhere. Oh my god, I have found a sign with text. But can you read it? No. No, I cannot. Yes, yes, I can. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm not going to tell you. There's a chance you could know where that is. And I don't. So I am just going to say that that is that. And I'm going to say right there. Uh, I, sh ah, I should have went with that guess. I, I, was even, I was hovering there, too. I got 39.92. What? I'm gonna be honest with you, complete luck of the draw. I'm oh, gonna, we all get lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a one star if it makes you feel oh, yeah. any better. No, it 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 got 
I could not press that one hard enough. What is going on here? Uh, a freaking tornado just blew through, man. I'm pretty sure that's just what the streets are like over here. Oh, jeez. Well, it's, it's just... you, you know, I'm just being honest. It's not like it. I heard that it was like the dumping ground where they were. I mean, I'm looking at this park over here. It didn't really look like a park. But... What's going on? Yeah. Like, this, the, cat, to I... the top of this truck was painted with like house paint or something. It's all chipped just... off. I found Guppy. Uh, okay, I mean, here, I, I don't know. I was gonna say like we're here, oh, come on. but I don't think the, so. I think we're actually like here, maybe. You've seen the flag? Come on. Oh, I have not seen the flag. Oh well, you will once you find Guppy. Just look for <laughs> Guppy, and you'll find the flag. You have excited me. I'm a flag guy. I am not a flag guy, but I think I know that flag. You know, I'm starting to think that me. I don't know. I still have not seen the flag. And I will have this conversation after I see the flag. <laughs> and then... But I'm like, I'm looking at this and I'm still not sure. But I'll tell you that right away, I'm, when I'm looking at stuff, still have not seen the flag. My gut says we're in, like, Turkey. But then I'm looking around I'm like, maybe we're not in Turkey. Maybe we're in, like, Indonesia. Or, or Malaysia or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm. I think it's that flag. Now I've got. Now you've got me second guessing. Well, it makes you feel because better, like... the the thing is like there's so many different languages over here. Yeah. It could just be like a meeting spot. No, it's got to be this flag. There's a ginormous one. How have you not seen the flag yet? <sighs> this one <laughs> beats me, this dude. This one's so big, it's actually ripped. How am I not seeing flags then? I don't know, but that was I mean that's a that's a pretty big damn flag. What? Oh, that's a top level domain, but I can't see what it is. I I have not seen a flag. Maybe I'm losing my mind. That's actually like honestly, that's actually pretty impressive. Are we here? Flags, like, please. Everything tells me that like this is where we are, like here, like from all the different like. I'm just, I'm just saying, for all the different like languages I've seen, this is like the melting pot of the world over here. But at the same time, oh god, this does not match this language. Like, up, this is more over here. I ended up back in trash alley. <laughs> wow. Maybe a tornado blew through there. God, it's an it's an alley that's. I mean, now it's like people live here, and that's information I can use. Before it was like an alley full of garbage. See, like this, like that is like not here. That's like down here. Oh, dude, I I did not see a flag. I must be blind. I'm not gonna say there was no flag because that's ridiculous. But I'm more like, how did I miss out on this freaking flag, dude? Uh, I'm sticking with my gut instinct here on the flag alone. There's no way this I, is Turkey. It's it's got to be. I, it's Asian. It's it's in Asia somewhere. Excuse me. What's Asian, dude? It's Asian. But I, I'm I see a. Okay, that's a one. Uh, but where eight in Asia? Eight seconds. This is a higher number. I'm gonna go right here. Making the guess. Oh. I beat you by two hundred. Okay, okay, uh, okay. You see, you didn't. I can't believe that you didn't see the Malaysian or like any flag over I, there. I, they were all over the place. I have to feel like I probably should have seen a flag. Like maybe I, I actually just there. missed it. Should have stayed there. Ah, oh, okay. You zoom in further, and that's where you get the ends. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna say that was a four. I mean, I, the flag. I my my original. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> My original, like, inclination was correct on that flag. The Malaysian flag, I don't think I could conjure it from memory, but if I it saw it, I think I would know. It was throwing me off to, well, the, it's a crescent with a, it looks like the, it basically looks like the U.S. flag, except with a yellow crescent. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. But what was throwing me off is that it's somewhat similar to the Filipino flag. At least I think it was the Filipino flag. I mean... 
What am I doing looking at China? I'm an idiot. Uh, I like slow panning across the map here. Yep. China, I'm just like, you know, it's going to take me a while. I would, I would say probably <sighs> China's not a good guess here. Be correct. In my opinion. Canada might actually be a better guess. Yeah, actually, it is conceivable. <laughs> um... I'm I'm just gonna go on record because this is the this is the start of a new week here in GeoGuessr. Right. Yeah. This is probably the worst set of seeds that I've seen. Well, I, I actually I in hindsight like the Malaysian one a lot. I like the no, I like the that one was completely fine. But like the other two we've gotten so far. Yeah. This one, one does. Them, this one has information, but not in a traditional way. Like this one. I mean, some of it is actually in a traditional way, but it's got information. I'm looking for a Abaca. Excuse me? <laughs> Abaca. I'm looking for uh, Car Haropic. Which actually starts with an Freaking S. Me. Okay. Well, now we paint the map in Russia looking for... That's... that's I'm, I'm all ears, brother. That's what I'm doing right now. Where's Sevastopol? It's uh, in uh, Russia. You know, it's somewhere around here. Sevastopol. This is like around here, maybe. Around here, I can't remember. It, you would. Oh, I saw that, and I was like, "Ooh." You would think that like it would be easier if they put more cities on their signs, like. A, a place as big as Russia, I feel like I would need to know in, in a roundabout way of like what direction I'm actually traveling in because like this says 63 one way, 13 the other. There's nothing around in either direction and what's <laughs> past that? I just don't know. Well, you have to think that the you're better off looking for 63 because that's probably bigger by virtue well, that, of the fact well, yeah, that Yeah, I mean that's what I'm that's what I'm looking for, but I had not found anything. Let's see what this sign says. Oh, it's just the same thing except the other way. Fair enough. Well, it's kind of a tricky one, <laughs> to, to say the least. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna probably do the exact same thing that I always do with mm, Russian okay. guesses. Well, I mean, this one's somewhat similar, but I know it's not. I know it's not Smolensk. Yes, I I would agree with that. I'm going to I'm going to not do the game theory thing and just guess Moscow because I'm in the lead and instead I'm going to I'm I'm inferring, you know, this looks more southern to me. There's there's some mountain ridges in the distance that are quite large. Where the fuck are the Urals? I've got no idea. <laughs> All right. It it was more to the east. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah. I I got you by 138. I shouldn't have given that a one. In, in hindsight, I should have given that a two. I definitely gave it a one. Cause I not even feeling bad about it. I can't hold it against it. Let me put it that this way: we don't way. know Russian. Yes. In the end, it put us next to information. The only thing is, we just didn't know how to parse it. If you if it puts us on a Russian road with no information except for like a single sign that says like a hospital, then I'm like, that's a one. Well, this is a great way for you to start with start a whole new week because uh, if you win this, we're back to square one. That's correct. This is I am. I'm only at uh, seventy one hundred twenty three. I'm so. at nine thousand and ten. Uh, I think it's fair to say this is one of the worst. You were right, uh, dude. I was I was saying it, man. It's not just me complaining incessantly. This is like I don't like the only the only one that was even worth checking out was Malaysia. Yeah. But they gotta give us like a really juicy one, uh, fifth now. Well, this. <laughs> How can there be this much road without a single sign? <laughs> oh, that's not true. There's signs that say, "Hey, there's like a bend in the road coming up." Yeah, I haven't seen any actual like navigational signs yet. Have you ever used or gleaned in useful information from a sign that says the road is turning coming up? No. You just look not, at the road, once. right? Yeah. You look ahead and you go, oh, obviously it bends. 
<laughs> so where, where'd that bend come from? <laughs> yeah, Someone I know. should put a sign here. I guess if you were going, like, super fast, you'd be like, okay, well, let's slow it down here. There's a bend in the road coming up. I mean, it's... I know what... Like, I know what country we're in. You think so? But these are just so... These guesses have all been... Uh, by the way, when I'm when I'm saying this, I'm a I'm omitting the the second guess, obviously. Right. These yeah. guesses have been like just they're uninspired. Yeah. Malaysia's there's, there's innocent, nothing, but yeah, there's nothing really to go on over here. We're all we're dropped in the middle. Dropped in the middle. I mean, we saw a speed limit sign, but it didn't even say uh, it, yeah, it didn't miles say, or kilometers. So I'm going to assume it's miles per hour. I I think that your country is so brazen that they would not even put the units because they'd be like, should we waste the ink? Nah, dude. Everybody should know. <laughs> Well, the way the, okay, so this is how just to just to show people that I'm not a complete moron. Okay. The deduction I use there is that this this road is too wide open and and out in the boondocks for that not to be for that to be killing. Right. Uh, that's bombers. actually that that's going is way too slow. That is that's really good reasoning. Slow. Fifty kilometers an hour is uh, is super slow. That's what we drive in like in a city basically. But then I see this sign, and that's not an American freaking road sign. Neither is that. That's Canadian. Really? So I don't know. This is this Highway is... 1, dude. I know. This is straight up Trans Canadian. Trans-Canada Highway. I know. Why do you guys drive so slow up there? Just stop drinking your maple syrup and milkshakes and <laughs> milk start shakes. driving what? fast. <laughs> you know, if this is Canada, and I, I'm taking your word for it, because I haven't, I haven't uh, it seen is, it. It is Canada. It's it's Highway 1. I'll tell you straight up. This is... Uh, well, if it is Highway 1, then I'm not going to tell you anything more. But if it's... My inclination would be that this is, like, fucking... Come on. In the north somewhere, dude. Because, like... This is, like, right now, you're like, this is lovely. Why would you drive 50? The answer is, in December, this turns into the highway to fucking hell. I know the province we're in. Really? Based on something i've seen on the road I, I think it's not going any higher so i don't know all right i made my guess if you yeah, know well, this I, province i just have to make a guess you are a, you're a golden god of geoguesser as far as i'm concerned we're in the yukon oh uh, actually that's the northwest territories oh my bad the northwest U territories <laughs> the yukon is slightly to the west yeah of course we were right near the town of grumbler oh, grumbler <laughs> Okay, so it wasn't Highway One. It was just a. It just happened no, to be a yeah, highway yeah. with the number one on it. <laughs> Speaking of one, <laughs> well, one star. Uh, I gave it a two. Well, I, I want to. I, mean, I want to see more Canadian guesses. Yeah, you have to see your easy guesses here. What in the world is this, dude? At least there's information. There's buildings. Yeah. Oh, that's an important sign. This might be, like, the most mutually salty episode we've ever done. What in the world is this? <laughs> is this Czech, Japanese, Hungarian? <laughs> Do you see the name of this town? Hang on, where, which way? Are, did you go south or north? Oh, uh, I went south. Assuming south is in the white direction. Yeah. Okay, the town I, see, name. I see a sign. Yukariko Benz Benisa. It's, I don't know if it's Italian or... <laughs> it, it, it seriously seems like somebody took like a Spanish and a Japanese word and mixed it together. I mean... Yeah, and then they, up here it says... Kopuklu Yikama. <laughs> Where are we? A good thing we're on road uh, 250.04 divided by 014. Oh, you know what? I know where we are. What? No, I mean... I don't want to. I don't want to give away too much, but there's some flags. As I'll, I'll say, that there's some flags. Even though it's not that windy, you can make that flag work for you. And then there's also some buildings of religious significance. Oh, okay, it's Turkey. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, I just, I just now saw the flag. Okay. So now we paint the map a little bit. Well, it doesn't matter if we know the. If we both know, I mean, how, how much are you up? I'm at uh, eleven thousand eight hundred eighty-six. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down by two thousand. So, I'm pretty sure there's enough time for you 
to find where we are on the map, and then uh, I'm just gonna bomb out. I don't know. It is. It seems like a small town. This is quite a small town. Just goes back to my earlier theory that all countries should only have like two cities. <laughs> hey, you're uh, you're kind of mirroring your Civilization Six. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There. Topical. Actually, by the time this video goes up, we would have done the next session, and we would not have known what happened. That's Although true, I'm assuming actually. that Dan probably is, like, declaring war on everybody, because that's what Dan does. Dude, he's got a huge, uh, well, not, maybe not a huge advantage, but he's got an advantage right now, I think. Well, yeah, but the only points he has is due to the fact he's got, like, three wonders. I He has more than three wonders. He might yeah, have, he and, might like, have, natural. like, I don't know, I think he's got, like, eight wonders. No. He doesn't have that many. Are you sure? Yeah, he would have had way more points if he had Dude, if he had eight wonders. I, he's been discovering like a wonder every three turns. It's going to be terrible if something like, you know, an army just walks right through and steps over his non existent army. I know, right? Check the wire. <laughs> All right, I'm just... That's where we are. I've not seen like where we are at all have you found it uh no okay i still have, i got 26 seconds the street sign lied to me it's not the same name it was the one arm man <laughs> <laughs> well that's definitely a small town Okay, right there. I don't know. Nah, you still beat me by 550. I was going to say, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you got pretty close on that one, but... I didn't I, I didn't even look that far to the <laughs> west of Turkey. Uh, well, I mean, I got to give it to the two because at least we saw a flag, but yep. Northern Lion brings it back. We tied, boys. 1,600 in quite literally the worst seeds... One Outside of the of worst Malaysia. geo guessers uh, I think we've ever had. That one was pretty bad. And that's South not Dakota gave us nothing. Canada yeah. gave us very little. Russia gave us, you know, Russian. <laughs> I guess we can't be that salty about Turkey and Malaysia, but... Well, at least we got a flag. I mean, Malaysia and Turkey, you, you, can't, hate a, you can't hate a guess that actually gives you a flag. Yeah, I mean, exactly. That's just... If you don't know flag, you don't know flag. It has but... always been words to live by, as far as I'm concerned. You but, can I mean, hate a country that gives you a flag. That is true, but, I mean, that South Dakotan guess, it's kind of like... <laughs> we, we, we didn't even get, like, HD, any part of that. Yeah. Just... Well, yeah, I mean, well, if I beat you by 500, I, I started out yeah. being ahead by, like, 2,000 because I chose Nebraska instead of Indiana on a lark. So, you know... And I just... Yeah, I just chose it. I, I'll no take reason. I'll take the win, but not necessarily the most skillful game of GeoGuessr ever. Either no, way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's a, a win's a win. You're, we're back at 500. I'm gonna have to try harder next time. We are back at 500 after 34 matches, which is crazy. If you enjoyed this, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, no matter whose perspective you're watching. And of course, uh, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Queue up both videos, watch them simultaneously. But for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on Wednesday. See you later.